Good. Venrick Mark has had a historic season for the Cats with two special teams touchdowns and over 1,000 yards rushing. He is one of the most exciting players in college football, also one of the biggest personalities on the Northwestern roster. But as Rob Coons reports, to have success, Mark first had to look inside himself. Well, I knew coming in as a running back that I, I would have to make an impact um, after talking to Coach Fitch and uh, talking to Coach McPherson. You know, I wanted a lot more playing time, and I knew, you know, they would give that to me and I would have to perform. In his first two seasons at Northwestern, Venrick Mark proved he could perform on the field. But as he struggled to find a full-time position, Mark also struggled away from football. I feel like my attitude's a lot better since I've been here. I'm actually happy I'm here. Freshman and sophomore year, I struggled with that. Basically, no one else to blame but myself. But, you know, um, my coaches and my teammates didn't give up on me. And, you know, I had people come up to me and talk to me and tell me some real, so, some things I needed to hear about myself to change. Was there one person in particular or one conversation that you can remember that was really uh, good? Proby. You know, Damian Proby, he came up to me and he said, hey, you know, we don't, we don't think badly of you as, a, as being your teammates, but we see you have potential, so we're not just going to let you go to the wayside. We know you have a chip on your shoulder, you play with attitude, and most people will just leave you alone. We're not going to do that. And, I, and, you know, that really meant a lot to me because that showed that they actually really did care about me. Late last season, Mark shifted to running back, a position he had success at in high school, and he's found that success again, already topping 1,000 yards rushing on the year. And once again, Venrick Mark right up the middle, 35-30, goodbye to the 15-10, five touchdown, Venrick Mark, 48 yards. We walked out of spring ball saying if, if Venrick Mark invests the way he's capable of, he's got a chance to have a special year. But there was the wild card, you know, and, and he, he's obviously proven that he did the right things. And so the credit goes to him. I didn't do it alone. That, that goes for the perimeter blocking from the receivers. You know, Tony Jones, Rashad, Demetrius Field, Christian, all have blocked really well. Um, and then, you know, you know, the O-line. I give them all the praise because at the end of the day, they, they've come together. Two years ago, Mark admits he might not have been so quick to credit those around him. But his position isn't the only thing the junior has changed. But I, I feel that's what a school does to you, a genuine school like this one that has a lot of like great people. I've talked to multiple professors, and they even tell me stuff that, you know, that I need to hear um, that's involving like school, taking stuff seriously. You know, life is just all not about football. Sometimes football players need to hear that. That's a message Mark has heard loud and clear. Reporting for the Pat Fitzgerald Show, I'm Rob Coons. Coach, we heard Venrick Mark talk about how much he's changed. How much of a change have you seen in him? Well, I'm just really proud of him, Dave. He's matured. It's part of the process of going to college. You know, I remember how immature I was. Uh, I won't speak for you. I know you were, you know, you were the most mature guy coming Hardly. out of, you know. Uh, it, it's like everyone has to go through, and yeah. it's, it's a growing pain in life. And you have to give all the credit in the world to Venrick. He's the young man that's done it. Number one, he's listened. Number two, he's had the self-awareness to say, you know what, Maybe if I just take my attitude from here and just shift it just a little bit, take my work ethic from here and shift it just a little bit, great things can happen. He's a terrific teammate. He's obviously been playing at a very high level, but more importantly, he's developed as a man. And that's what this is all about. Football is great. School is terrific. But at the end of the day, our program wants to be the best player development staff and the best player development program that there is in the country. And to see the way that he's grown as a, as a leader of the program, it, it really warms your heart. Got a lot of football left in him. Got a lot of school left in him and a lot of more a lot more growth ahead of us, but he's had a great start to the year.